attempted to shift public attention to the Middle East today by announcing his long-awaited peace plan. The president unveiled the plan with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu by his side at the White House. He says he'll succeed where other presidential administrations have failed. Thanks. President Trump calls it the most detailed plan ever, adding up to 80 pages. The plan still calls for a two-state solution, offering to double the amount of territory currently under Palestinian control. But the plan allows Israel to hold on to settlement blocks in the West Bank, long opposed by the Palestinians. It would keep Jerusalem as the undivided capital of Israel, also controversial. The proposal offers Palestinian leaders four years to work out the details, with President Trump sending them a message. President Abbas, I want you to know that if you choose the path to peace, America and many other countries, will we, we will be there. We will be there to help you in so many different ways, and we will be there every step of the way. Now, in spite of that sentiment, this plan may be dead on arrival unless the Palestinians can be convinced to sign on. Thousands protested against the U.S. and Israel today, even before the plan was unveiled. Hours later, Palestine's president remains unconvinced, saying, quote, a thousand no's to the proposal. President Abbas is calling for a broad meeting of Palestinian factions to discuss their next step.